WF representing Palace. So let's tell you about Palace. Eagle Eye Football here. We are here with the player ratings for Nottingham Forest 1, Crystal Palace 0 away. Granted, we are watching this at home from the telly. Uh, so we're not there, so we can't give like real thoughts, let's say, because obviously everything looks better on telly, but it is what it is. Uh, I will start with uh, Dean Henderson. And Dean Henderson didn't do much today. But what he did do was wrong. Uh, dived over the ball, caught himself off guard off multiple times today. Um, did he make a save? I can't actually remember. Not really. No. But um, I think literally two seconds after we conceded that awful goal, um, Elliot Anderson opened his body up to curl it far post and Henderson sold himself and started moving that way. And then he dragged it near post and it was lucky he didn't go further near post because it literally hit Henderson straight in the feet. So... Great. Uh, Tyreek Mitchell. What did you give him anyway, Henderson? Two. Oh, okay. That's very generous. Tyreek Mitchell, uh, three. He did not He did nothing really. I mean, it's not really his fault. He's not a wing back. But, you know, sometimes, even if you're going forward, you've got to be able to play a 10-foot ten, ten ball, and he didn't. He got sold a few times. One time in the first time, he completely bottled it, didn't he? And the guy had a complete run down the line, un, un, unchallenged. But, yeah, three. Uh, Mark Gaze next because we actually played the different back line. We actually played Mark on the left, Laquan in the middle, and Chalab on the right, which is probably the the right way around, let's say. But Mark, probably the same thing again, isn't it? The, the best to have a one of yeah. the best, one of the better ones out of a bad bunch. I think I can only give him a five, really. Uh, Maxence Lacroix. Yeah, played better in the middle, didn't he? Uh, again, five again. I mean, again, he was wasn't involved in the goal at all, and uh, you know, apart from the mistake, um, he did nothing wrong. So yeah, five. Uh, Trevor Chalabar, I would give him a four. And you disagreed with me very much when uh, when we when, when the goal the goal actually went in. I I don't know why he's heading the ball back into the danger area. No. Granted, granted, it's it's thirty yards away from goal. Blah blah blah. But you just don't head the ball back into the danger area. You just put it out for a throw in. I give him a four because he's okay. Other than that, uh, Daniel Munoz three. Worst game in a Palace shirt. And the shame of it is, is that every time I've seen him play this year, he seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. Agreed. Putting him on the left was baffling at the end, but yeah, I mean, when he was on the right, he made one cross when he actually slipped, and it was actually his best cross, wasn't it? But apart from that, gave the ball away so often, lost possession, looked just out of sorts all over place here, three. Uh, Jefferson Lerma, I think I'd give him a four as well. You know, got a, got a yellow card after five minutes, which one is stupid. His line-breaking passes were awful today. Showed a bit of energy, showed a bit of fight towards the end of the game, but it was just a bit little, too little too late, really, so far. Uh, Will Hughes? Probably our best player, I would say six. I mean, he ran around a lot. I think he had to go off in the end because you could see that he, he was blowing and he weren't going to carry on. But he, he did what he had to do and he won a lot of balls. He tried to run the midfield, but with Lerma being so quiet off the books, he couldn't make a challenge. So he was basically doing double work, but he was our best player, so six. Uh, Eze, I give him a three. I think that obviously it was a lot of long shots, a lot of faffing about with the ball, but you have to say that quite a few of those long shots were on target. Yeah. Uh, he probably had a good few chances, you know, probably unlucky to score himself today purely because of the amount of shots that he took and they were on target, to be fair to him. But it's just the fact of he just seems so lazy and slow, like... Like nearly the exact same thing happened in this game that happened against Everton, where I think Kamada actually passed the ball out to him, and he's literally running slowly, waiting for the ball to come to him. I think Olaina got in front of him. Luckily enough, he barged him out of the way and got mm. the ball back. But it's the same thing. It's passing slow. There's not much conviction behind any of the passing. There was one time he was on a breakaway, and he thought, oh, yeah, I'm going to pass it around this guy. And Enketi will be there. But Enketi is a striker. He's just beelining straight towards the goal. He's just sort of passed it off the pitch. You're thinking, mm. mate, you're better than that. Exactly. You're better than that. Um, Daichi Kamada. Three. I mean, in a day, he, he played in a 10 role. He did nothing going forward at all. He did a couple of good um, challenges and a couple of good tackles, but that's not what he's there for, is he? He's there to go forward. He gives the ball away so much and his passing is so... Average, you know, he very. I love to see what his pass completion rate is because it can't be very much. He literally gave the ball away every time he had it. So yeah, three. Uh, Eddie and Ketty, I think I give any Eddie a five, and yeah, I give him a five because I think that he was very active up front. He was running in behind. He 
were showing a lot of pressing, a lot of good pressing actually. Like we nearly nicked the ball off of them quite a few times when they were faffing about at the back. And yeah, I think I think he's okay. I think he yeah. deserves to stay on for a little bit longer. Maybe he's pretty. In my opinion, I think he deserves to stay on while Mateta's there as well because mm. I feel like he's sort of similar to Edward in the way of if he plays with someone else, he's a lot better. But yeah, I think a five is a fair result for him. Yeah. Um, quickly, we'll run through the bench because. None of them Just really, get more to stand five. really did, did too good. much. Uh, so, Schlapp for probably... He had his shot, didn't he? Yeah. Um, who else came Mateta. on? Mateta. Mateta. I actually forgot Mateta was on the pitch. I'll yeah. give him a three. Uh, Agbanone. Uh, Agbanone. I thought he was bright. Granted, he was only on for six minutes. Uh, made one key pass, which is the same as everyone else on mm. the pitch. I give him a five. I think he did okay. Ismail Sarr actually made uh, some good chances, ran with the ball a little bit, but yeah. obviously forgot he was there again, so four. Uh, I don't think anyone else came on, but if they did, they were so bad, I forgot about them. Um, OG? OG. We both do OG, yeah. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> go on, you go first. What do you mean to go first? I mean, for the fact that you had a six and a half minute rant on our fan cam, I think I should go first. Okay, go on. <laughs> um, Oliver Glasner. I would give Oliver Glasner. So I think he picked from for for who he had available. I feel like he picked a good team or picked the best team he mm-hmm. could because obviously Adam Wharton needs that surgery, so he couldn't play him. Um, it's hard. Eddie and Ketty is not a ten, so you can't play him and him and Mateta. But he did play the back line in the right way around where Gay, Lacroix, Chalabar. Yeah. Uh, he did actually go over the midfield of Hughes and Lerma, which is a midfield that we all wanted. So there, you said team selection is fine. The first first half game plan was fine as well. We actually looked good. We was we were both saying, look, we're making good chances. We're shooting more. This is what we've been asking for. Blah blah blah. But it's just the substitutions and just not just refusing to change the system late on. I, I'd say a three. Do you know? I was going to say three as well. I think um, I think his stubbornness. I think tactically we're inept. I mean, we've just stopped pressing. There's no motivation. They seem. I mean, I don't know what they're doing in training, working. You know, like their f- offensive play in training because literally there is nothing, is there? I mean, you could see that we're not going forward. It, He's got to do something. He, he's, he's become, he's become Roy again. He's become a very um, reactive manager, not a proactive manager. He's waiting for them to do something. It's like we only bring a strike on if we go one nil down. We was hang, quite happy to hang on to a nil nil. And the only when he, he started making changes when we went one nil down. Well, why not make change? We were just waiting to concede before making changes rather than saying. Let's do something different. Let's go forward. Let's try to put them on the back foot. But we didn't do it. So yeah, I, I would. It, I would have given him a two, but I'm only going to give him a three because he played the back three how we wanted it. And I thought the back three did okay, apart from the goal that say was the keeper's fault. They all did pretty well, kept him at arm's length pretty much all the time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean, big, big problems with Oliver Glasner. Mm-hmm. Uh, ref, didn't notice him. No, five. Fine, yeah. And the fans, I give him a ten for the fact that they've gone there, they watched that rubbish, and mm-hmm. now they've got to get home, unfortunately, on, Monday, on, a, on a weekday. Mm-hmm. But, guys, thank you very, very much for watching. This is Eagle Football. This is the player ratings for Nottingham Forest 1, Crystal Palace 0.